Hey guys, it's Lauren Aspenagey here, and I'm going to be customizing my first doll. So, I really, really wanted another boy doll, but I wasn't a big fan of the ones that American Girl um, have put out. So, I thought I'd customize one. Plus, it does cost um, like less money if you find like a cheaper doll on eBay and then like buy a wig. So, you end up saving a lot of money, which is always nice. So, I'm gonna like show you guys this whole process, and I'm definitely really excited, but also like kind of nervous to see how this is gonna go because I've never done this before. But, um, I hope you guys enjoy this video and let's get started. So she's in the package just like this and you can see that she has this like marking on her foot. That's the only really noticeable thing that's like wrong with her and it kind of reminds me of Toy Story actually. But it, that's not, um, a big like thing anyways and nobody's gonna be looking at the bottom of his foot so it's completely fine but we're gonna take her out. Okay, so she is in all this plastic. Here she is. She looks to be in very good um, condition. So we have her poor hair. We've decided that she, oh my gosh, like her limbs are also very good. So here she is out of the um, bag. And actually she's in very good condition. There aren't really any like, there's nothing really wrong with her, at least that I can see. Um, I'm gonna have to wash her hair and wipe her down. Um, other, the only thing that's like noticeably wrong with her is the thing on the foot, but like that's totally fine. I knew that before buying her and I'm like, that's not a big deal. <laughs> um, so I've decided, I forget what number I think she is. She looks like Emily except with longer hair. So I believe, it's at 38. I'm not entirely sure what the proper number is. I'll put it on the screen though. Um, so I'm really excited. And she has like the feathered eyebrows and also she has these gorgeous blue eyes. So uh, basically now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to like wipe her down and wash her hair before I take off the wig. You can also see on her legs there are a couple um, like little dirt marks or scuffs but that should come off in the washing. Okay so I'm going to do a little voiceover but I'm just like washing her hair and just like pouring water into it with a cup. So sorry my arm is in the way for most of the time. I think I just got, yeah, I just got water on her and I was panicking. Um, but now I'm just lathering up her hair with some shampoo and I learned later that it is incredibly hard to get this shampoo out but I'm just like lathering it up weird how it like kind of it's like weirdly stiff and it's like all lathered but I'm just trying to rinse it out and, and discovering that it's really hard and it's really painful um so now I gave up with the whole cup thing because it was basically falling apart so I'm just rinsing her hair underneath the faucet now I'm doing shampoo not shampoo conditioner so wow that's a lot okay um and I'm just doing that yay <laughs> um I think it definitely helped though with combing her hair later though Okay, so now I finished washing her hair and now I'm just going to comb it. Um, when she first came out of the box, her hair was very frizzy, so I don't know if this is necessarily going to fix all the frizz, but I just want to, the wig to be as like good condition as possible before I take it off. Okay, so now that her hair is brushed up, um, out, I'm just going to try to like wipe down her arms and legs and her face. Um, just to see if I can get any of the little smudges out, and then if that doesn't work, um, I believe you can try Prel and rubbing alcohol, so if it doesn't work, I might try that. So, let's get started. <laughs> The marks on the back of her legs actually did come off, but now I've just put a dress on her and then I'm going to wait for um, her hair to dry off and I got a little bit um, of water also like on the cloth part of her body, which should be fine, it's not a ton. Um, but after she dries, then I'm going to re-wig her. Yeah. Okay, here she is. Her hair is basically dry. Now I'm going to do the re-wigging process, which I'm not actually going to show you because I've never re-wigged anything before. I'll check in a couple times, but I'm not going to actually do like a time lapse because I'm probably going to struggle with this a lot. But first, I'm going to actually show you guys the wig. So the shop that I bought the wig from is Graham Cat's Closet. And here's the thing. I'll put the link in the description. So we're going to take it out of the little bag. And I never like 
gotten a wig before or like taken it out. So, all right, there's a little gel packet. So, it feels very soft. Oh my gosh, this is so cool. It's just this really soft, like blonde wig. And I'm so excited to put it on. But first we gotta take off the wig. So I'll be back um, to like check in as I'm doing the wig. Here's a quick little update. I'm like halfway-ish done. Um, it's been coming off. I don't know how easy it normally is to like pull it off but there's a lot of glue residue. There's also some like hair sticking to her head, which is totally okay. I can uh, cut that off or pull it off later, but like I'm about halfway done. So yeah, this camera like does not want to focus today. Ugh. Okay, so I got the wig off. So the hair that's left on her is just from the back of the wig. The end part like tore off and stuck to her head. So I'm actually going to figure that out. I'm gonna like either cut it off or like try to peel off but yeah and so that's what I'm gonna work on now but other than that I got the wig off. So I finished cutting off the hair and now I put the wig on. I really like it. It fits very well and it covers up the um, glue residue like in the back um, from where the wig, wig stuck. Um, I really really like it. I'm- why won't he stand up? Okay. Um, I'm gonna go downstairs and get some boy clothes for him and then I have to glue it later but I'm not going to show um, me gluing it but yeah so here's what he looks like with some guy clothes on and I really really like the wig I need to glue it as soon as possible I'll probably use like Elmer's glue or something I don't know but um, I'm gonna try to glue it as soon as possible because I keep forgetting where the front and the back of the wig is which is not good but um, yeah I really like the wig I'll link the shop down below so if you guys need any like boy doll wigs. So yeah, this is my first customizing experience. Yeah, thank you guys so much for watching and I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye guys.